Welcome to another edition of Jules Voto's Photo Focus. In this video, I am revisiting the Helios 44M, a 58mm 2.0 lens in M42 screw mount. It's a Russian made lens, and you can still find these lenses. They're very inexpensive. So, back in September of 2024, I kind of reviewed this lens as a walk around lens in Biloxi, Mississippi. And I will put a link in the description below to that video. And I attempted to get that swirly bouquet look that this lens is fo famous for. But uh, the mistake I made was I wasn't shooting wide open. I, I think I took a few shots wide open, but there are certain conditions that you must meet in order to get that swirly bouquet look. So as I did in September, I shot this lens with the Fotasi M42 to Nikon Z adapter on my Nikon Z8 and uh, used the magnify feature, magnifying 100% for focus. And I also set non-CPU lens data into the camera so the IBIS would work. You have to set in the focal length and the maximum aperture of the lens. So here's some recent photos I took uh, at my cousin's house of some flowers that are still sort of blooming in her yard. And most of these images you're going to see are at 2.0. These are at 2.0. And we're kind of zooming in here to the left side. And I think I finally achieved it. I think I got that swirly bouquet. And now we're going to look at another image. Again, these are at 2.0. Focus was difficult, I must say. The f it was a little breezy on this day. I was hand holding the camera. I was lying on the ground and kind of shooting up because I wanted to get that effect of the sun hitting the flowers from behind and a little bit to the right. And um, I'm really pleased with the bouquet. I wasn't real concerned with focus. I wanted to try to get the flower sharp, that pink flower towards the center there. But I was more concerned with just trying to achieve that bouquet effect. Now, here we are at 2.8, and I don't see a lot of difference. But I still think you kind of get a little bit of that swirly look. Now, I have seen images where that swirl is much more apparent. Uh, in videos and still photos that I've seen online. But um, I kind of like this effect. Now, I wish, as I said before, I love shooting wide open, but I really love shooting wide open with autofocus lenses. Because with a manual focus lens, it's really difficult to focus, especially on a subject that may be moving a little bit, such as a portrait, or in this case, flowers, because it's very hard manually focusing wide open with a lens like this. So I w really wish there was an autofocus lens that gave this swirly bouquet look wide open. That would be great. Now, I have Nikon's 50 1.4Z mount, which I love. I did a video on that, and I'll put a link to that. And I also have the Plena, the 135 1.8 and they give beautiful bouquet especially the plana but uh it's not that swirly look and here we have a a vertical shot and this is the upper portion of that previous shot and uh i think that swirls a little here is the bottom of that same image and i really like the bouquet on this lens again these were all at 2.0 you know what there may be one or two thrown in here that were shot at 2.8 but like i said i don't really see that big a difference now just a little bit more i um a little more information i shot everything here at 64 iso and i know i mentioned that i had image stabilization in body image stabilization on but my shutter speeds were very high i really didn't need it and here is the upper portion uh the actual flower itself is out of focus, but again, I was more concerned with trying to achieve that effect in the background. Here's the bottom of that image. And uh, I was near or at 
the close focus distance of this lens, which is uh, under two feet. It's a 0.55 meters. It, the lens is only marked in meters. And here we have the upper portion. And you can see the bouquet is really nice. And uh, by the way, I was shooting at aperture priority with matrix metering. And I in light, the only thing I did in Lightroom, I didn't crop these images at all. In Lightroom, I just made some brightness and overall uh, exposure adjustments. And here we have another one, again, looking at the bouquet in the upper portion at 2.0. And I guess some people might say it's a little busy, but I kind of like it. So now I went to some other flowers in the garden. And here, uh, I don't think the effect is as visible. And what I have determined, both through my own experimentation and from reading quite a bit on this lens, and like I said, watching videos, is that it's not that easy to achieve. You need just the right conditions at or near maximum aperture, at or near closest focus, backlit. Uh, and that's what I tried to do. And, you know, you're not always going to be able to find a situation like that where this works. If it was a cloudy day, I don't know. I don't think this may have worked. So here, the focus was on that flower in the foreground here, and you could see that other flower isn't that far behind, and it really goes out of focus at 2.0, and that is the thing that I love about fast lenses. And uh, back in the day when I was shooting film, uh, I didn't really shoot much wide open because it was difficult to achieve focus, as I said on a moving subject. So here's just some leaves. I just wanted to see what would happen. And uh, the center of the image is very sharp. Again, these are at uh, 2.0. And this lens, if you could achieve focus, if you could achieve accurate focus, it is very sharp in the center. And of course, you have that beautiful fall off as you go out towards the edges. And here's another few flowers. Again, I was down on the ground with this. Uh, wasn't easy to get up, uh, but really don't see that effect in these. So you really got to work and find the right, mainly find the right conditions to achieve that swirly bouquet effect. And like I said, I was handheld. I maybe it would have been better if I used a tripod. It would have been a little easier on my back, and used the tilting screen on the Z8. And here is another one. I really like the bouquet. The focus was on this uh, red flower towards the bottom. But if you look in the lower left there, I really like that out of focus look. So if you have shot with this lens or any of the other Helios lenses, there's a bunch of them. These four, there's a 44.2, there's a 44.4, I believe. There's a bunch of them. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've shot with several of them. Which one you think gives you the best chance of picking up this swirly bouquet. And please leave your questions and comments in the comments below. I usually respond to all questions and comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I usually publish a new video every Monday morning and Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So I will talk to you next time.